Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm gonna show you how to transfer and run LaunchBox and BigBox from an external drive. It's actually really easy to do. And recently, I've had a few viewers asking if it was possible to run your LaunchBox build on a separate PC from an external drive. And yes, it's totally possible because LaunchBox and BigBox were designed to be fully portable. Now, when it comes down to drives, we have a ton to choose from. You can go with these powered drives, non-powered drives, you can go with these newer, really fast USB Type-C USB drives, or you could even run this from an older USB drive, but your performance will vary depending on the speed of the drive. Personally, I've been using this new Kingston Travelmate USB Type-C 1TB drive, and I've had really good luck with LaunchBox and BigBox running from this unit. But in the end, it's really up to you. You can use whatever you have on hand. So with this here, first thing we're going to need is a PC running a build of LaunchBox. So I've already set one up on one of my PCs. We're going to go ahead and move over there right now. And I'm going to show you how to get everything transferred over to an external drive to keep it nice and portable. All right, so I've just moved over to the PC I have LaunchBox installed on. This is actually the build that I want to transfer to an external drive to make it portable. This one's quite small. I just built it for this video. We only have 95 games. First things first, let's go ahead and close LaunchBox down. I would highly suggest just checking the size of your LaunchBox build. We can actually do that by going to our C drive or wherever you install LaunchBox to, Users, Username, LaunchBox, I'm gonna right click, Properties here, and this one's only 15.8 gigabytes. So this folder here is what we need to transfer to the external drive, and I definitely have enough room on my external drive, so you really need to check that first because these can get quite large. Now, as we saw in the beginning of the video, I have a portable one terabyte drive. I've just named it Kingston, it's drive D, and I definitely have enough room. We've got uh, a ton free on here, so we'll go to properties. Yeah, I've got 852 gigabytes free. And basically what I wanna do is transfer that LaunchBox folder over to my external drive. So what I'm gonna do is open this up in a new window, and I'm gonna snap my external drive over to the right-hand side and I'm gonna find my LaunchBox folder on my PC. So we'll go to our C drive, users, username, LaunchBox, and I'm gonna drag it right over here. So while that's transferring over, there's one thing I suggest downloading just to make sure that LaunchBox will run on the PC we're gonna move over to, and that's gonna be .NET Core 3.1. So when we run LaunchBox for the first time on a PC, it will ask us if we wanna download this, but just in case you don't have internet access, like you're running this on an arcade cabinet with no ethernet or Wi-Fi, we will have this application so we can manually install it. But since we wanna keep LaunchBox portable on that drive, I suggest downloading this. I'm gonna go with the 64-bit version, and we want the Windows version. So we'll go x64, it's gonna download for me and I'm just gonna place it right on my desktop. So now we have our LaunchBox build transferred over to our external drive. We're just gonna open this up on the external drive. We're gonna place this right in the root folder. That way we always have access to it. Now this is really just in case you don't have internet access, but it's always good practice to have this on hand so we can just place it right on that external drive with our LaunchBox build. So now that we have LaunchBox and BigBox on our external drive, I'm gonna go ahead and move over to another PC that I've never installed LaunchBox on in the past. And the way we have the external drive set up right now, we can run LaunchBox and BigBox directly from that drive. I'm just gonna grab that drive we transferred everything over to and plug it right into one of the USB ports here. And like I mentioned, I've never had LaunchBox or BigBox installed on this PC, at least the way it's set up right now. So we'll plug that drive in. And there's the drive we just transferred everything over to. Let me move in a bit closer. And from here, we're just gonna go right into that LaunchBox folder, and I'm gonna start up LaunchBox. This PC does have access to the internet, so as soon as I try to launch it, it's gonna tell me that I need to download .NET 3.1. From here, you can actually choose yes and move over to the download, but since we already downloaded it on a separate machine and placed it on this external drive, I'm just gonna run it from here. And it's a quick install. Give it a few seconds to finish up. Now we've got it installed. We can go ahead and start up LaunchBox. It's not gonna prompt us anymore. We've got everything we need installed on this PC and it's running from the external drive we transferred our folder over to. And there you have it. So yeah, we've got LaunchBox running from an external drive on a brand new PC. 
We can also start up Big Box from here as long as you're a premium user. So we'll just start up Big Box, and there you have it. You now have LaunchBox and Big Box installed on an external drive. You can carry this around with you and basically run it on any x86 PC. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. I really appreciate you watching. I had a couple people asking about this, so I figured I'd go ahead and make a quick video on it. And as you saw from this one, yes, LaunchBox and Big Box are fully portable. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.